Hello kids, today we are going to read In Your Hands. When you are newborn, I hold your hand and study your face. I name you Omari, firstborn son. I cradle you as you drift to sleep. While napping, you crack a smile. I have big, bright dreams for you. I hold your hand as you learn to walk, as you cross the street and enter kindergarten. I kiss your scrapes and scratches and wipe your occasional tears. We take turns reading bedtime stories aloud. I tuck you in at night and remind you of the golden rule. I pour all the wisdom that I can into you. But I know that I will not always hold your hand, that I cannot always keep you under my wing, not when you are in the school play or on the playing field or at the bus stop, not the older you get. Then I will hold you in my heart and ask God to hold you in His hands. I'll pray that you are safe in neighborhoods beyond our own and that you feel confident when you face new challenges. I'll ask God to guide you as you test limits and explore horizons. I'll trust him to watch you as you cross the street and as you cross over to adolescence. I'll pray that the world sees you as a child of God and as you cast a longer shadow that you will be viewed as a vessel to be steered rather than a figure to be feared. I'll pray that you are judged by your character and I'll call on God to lead you on the right path. I'll pray that missteps bring lessons and are forgiven and that you be granted second chances. I'll pray that you be spared injustice and I'll ask that if you face old foes, God bless you with courage equal to your convictions. I'll pray that you can always hold your head up and that you grow old and raise sons and grandsons who will be exalted for the sons that they are. I add my prayers to the chorus. Black lives matter, your life matters. I pray to God each day, I hold my son in your hands. The end.